Hello everybody and welcome back for another Destiny 2 video. Today I'm going to bring you something a little bit different in terms of style as we're actually recording this video live on my Mixer channel as we speak. If you're watching this on YouTube please let me know what you think, if this is the style of type of reviews that you like and also if it's something that you want to see going forwards on my channel. So let's get into it. Today we're taking a look at one of the sidearms added to the loot pool with the Warmind DLC. Now sidearms for me can be very hit and miss. Now obviously we have three very solid sidearms with the Last Hope, the Dead Man Walking and also the Traveller's Judgment. These are all pretty good and have all seen a lot of action by the community so far in the game. However, this new one got me very interested mainly due to its perks and I thought I'd try it out. This is the 18 Kelvin's sidearm. Now it comes with some quite interesting perks. The main one that got me interested is actually the kill clip, which gives you an increase to damage output when you reload after a kill. As you can see, it's pretty easy to get going in PvE, and you know what? Actually, not that bad. It hits pretty good, but as with most sidearms in the game, they're a little bit unwieldy and this one just doesn't quite hit the mark in terms of being easy to use in my opinion. Now once we clear out these ads we're going to have a closer look at the perks. As you can see I'm not the best with the sidearms. So let's have a look at these perks on this weapon. So let's have a look at this weapon's perks comes as an adaptive frame sidearm which means it's well rounded, reliable and sturdy and is in the middle of the park in terms of rate of fire for sidearms in the game. We have a choice of three barrel perks with the hammered forged rifling which increases its range, we have the fluted barrel which is increasing handling speed and stability and also we have small bore which increases range and stability quite significantly. I choose small bore personally because the stability is the one that you really need for this weapon. It has quite a big kick and if you don't have the stability as high as you can get it then you're going to struggle to get them shots on target especially on console. Next up with the magazine perks we have tactical mag which increases its stability a little bit more. We also have an increase to reload speed and a slight increase to magazine size. Then we have accurized rounds which allows you to increase the range on this weapon. As we said before you really don't want to increase the range, you want to keep that stability as high as possible so the tactical mag is the one that we're going for here. And then finally, with the traits we have opening shot which will improve the accuracy and range of the opening shot of the weapon and we also have the main one here which is the one that I would recommend everybody to use and that is kill clip which means that once you reload after a kill it grants increased damage output. And this one is the one that really sets it apart from a lot of other sidearms in the game. With only the Rattler being the other one that I know of that has kill clip. This one also comes with an interesting lore tab. And a little bit of a background story in relation to where this weapon has come from. In the context of Mars and the Warmind DLC. Now I thought that this weapon would be great in all game modes. Especially in PvP as kill clip gives you extra damage when you reload after a kill. However, I feel the rest of the weapon just lets it down massively, even with that high stability. It's just so bouncy in PvP, them getting them shots off on Guardians who are rocking high mobility whilst pumping you with the current exotic weapon of choice, you simply stand no chance. If you're on PC, it might be different, but on console, it was very, very tough to use in the Crucible. You just can't get enough engagements to activate the perk often enough to benefit from the kill clip and with so many other better sidearms in the game this one is way down the pecking order in my opinion. Yet in PvE I actually think it stands out because it's quite effective at close quarters and you can actually keep reloading, getting that kill clip and keeping them shots on your enemies and keeping it going. Now, I'm not the best at using sidearms, as you can probably imagine, but this one 
actually feels pretty good to use in PvE. Like I said, it's not actually the best for PvP. I mean, unless you're an absolute hero at using sidearms in the game, which I'm not. So, this one, definitely more of a PvE style sidearm. And as you can see, it just tears down these acolytes like there's uh, no business. Now, I don't know how it will fare up with bosses in the game. Um, I mean, the sidearms in general don't have a high magazine. I mean, this one only comes with 16 with the tactical mag. And it's just not enough to keep the good DPS down on the bosses that you need to make an impact in the game. Now, that's pretty much it for this review. Please let me know in the comment section below if you're going to use this weapon, if you've picked it up, and what you think of it. Also, please let me know as well what you think of this review, how it's gone, and if you want me to do any of these live versions again. I appreciate that it's a little bit broken in terms of style. This is the first time that I'm actually trying to improvise whilst doing this style of video. So please let me know and uh, if you want me to uh, do another one of these again in the future. There's quite a few weapons that I've come across. There's a new auto rifle and there's also the new quick step SMG. Planning on getting some reviews out on them in the coming days, so stick around. And uh, if you did like this video, please hit that like button, it'll be greatly appreciated. And also subscribe to my channel for more future Destiny 2 content. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram for the latest news and information surrounding the game. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.